Okay, everyone, that's all. Welcome, Ms. Xie. Oh, hi. Uh, nice to meet you here. My name is Alan, and I come from Taipei City Police Department Foreign Affairs Division. So I'm here to share some experience with you. Uh, we will not fight. Uh, we, we, will, we will say something you need to know in Taiwan. Okay. So uh, this is an outline. We will check the notice for foreigners living in Taiwan, uh, traffic safety, illegal drugs, uh, foreign national involving criminal cases, or traffic accidents. And the last one is all information. We will give you some phone number. And uh, if you need to call, you can solve your problem. Okay, so first, uh, in Taiwan, the age of criminal ability is 14 years of age. So uh, yeah, you are all already over 14, so it's it's okay. And second, Taiwan does not have official uh, designated red line districts. Uh, so prostitution is illegal and next you have to know at the age of 14 or up who has uh, interested of the visit residence or permanent residence should always carry the passport uh, alien residence certificate or alien permanent residence certificate which means if you uh, live in Taiwan and you are a foreigner so please bring your passport or your ARC or your APRC when you go to any place, okay? Okay, next, uh, you should know that drugs are uh, prohibited in Taiwan, including marijuana and the seeds. I know uh, marijuana in many, uh, in many countries, marijuana is illegal, but in Taiwan, it's still not illegal. So uh, if you need to use marijuana, please uh, try to use uh, another stuff, okay? <laughs> so. And next, firearms are prohibited as well. And uh, possession of such prohibited items will lead to the confiscation and the possessor will be prosecuted. Okay, next. And uh, gambling is illegal in Taiwan. So gambling for money or property is, uh, is forbidden in any place. Yeah. Uh, but if you want to gambling personally, uh, just kidding, it's, 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 uh, it's also illegal. So eating, drinking, smoking, and chewing gum are prohibited on MRT chains and is stationed in Taiwan. Yeah, uh, like in Japan, you can, you, can, you, can, you can eat on the chain, but in Taiwan, you cannot eat on the chain. So please, or if you uh, if you eat some food on the MRT, everybody will look at you, okay? So when you're traveling, avoid, uh, please avoid taking pictures of military installations. Pay attention to the signs. Uh, you cannot take a photo to the soldier. And uh, for the flight safety, drones cannot be used in restricted areas, such as airports or min uh, military areas. Okay, so next, if you like to climb a mountain, please, before entering many trails or restricted mountains in Taiwan, uh, you are required to obtain a mountain entry permit in person. And you can apply the permit on the internet. You can go to the National Police Agency and you can apply the permit to climb a mountain. Okay, next, traffic safety. Uh, in my experience, most people will have some traffic uh, problem when they live in Taipei. First, when you are riding motorbike, bicycle, and you want to turn in left, please make a hook turn, okay? Uh, you can wait until the light turns into green. And please do not turn left directly because the driver will just hit you. And when you are close, to big vehicles, uh, you must to know, uh, be aware to the field of vision where the driver cannot see. So if you are here or here, the driver cannot see you. Okay, so if you are here, 
the driver still cannot see you. So please uh, don't believe the driver, believe yourself. And when you are riding motorbikes or bicycles, uh, you, can road, uh, you can ride on the road. But if you see there are four words, a uh, big yellow word, it's called, uh, in Chinese, it's called Jing Xing, Ji Che, which means you cannot ride your motorbike on this, on this land, on the inner land. And uh, next, when you are a uh, pedestrian, drivers may not give way to pedestrians in Taiwan. Uh, yeah, I know it's ridiculous, but uh, <laughs> uh, most of us are very kind, uh, very very friendly. But some of some of us are not very really kind. So uh, please, again, believe, uh, don't believe a driver. Believe yourself. Okay. So if you want to cross the road, uh, pay attention. Okay, and uh, pedestrians always have a. Uh, uh, priority of right of way, uh, basically, and riding on a bicycle lane. If you ride bicycle, we got a bicycle lane. Uh, is special, specially for the uh, for the bicycle. So uh, you can ride on this lane. And next, oh, okay, this also okay. So a bicycle, uh, bicycle special lane is like this. So if you see this mark, you can ride bicycle on the land, okay? And uh, this one, you can also ride your bicycle on it. And you can also ride, uh, bicycle and motorcycles refers to slow moving vehicles, which ride on the slow speed land, it's here. So please, if you want to uh, ride bicycle or motorcycle, please ride on this land. It's more, uh, it's more safe for your life. And when you are in a traffic accident, there are, uh, there are three things you need to do. First one, uh, stay and uh, sing and put up a warning sign. You have to let all people know, oh, there is, uh, there is a traffic accident. And second, uh, make phone calls to the authorities. You can call 110 and the police officer will go to find you. You can call 119 for ambulance, you can call your insurance company, and uh, third, you can mark the location of vehicles and collect evidence. It's like you, you can just take a photo, you can just uh, take, a, uh, take a photo for the further investigation, okay? And uh, next is about driving under the influence of alcohol. Uh, in Taiwan, zero tolerance for drunk driving with any type of vehicles. Uh, this is very serious crime in Taiwan, so we will pay more attention on this issue. Uh, driving under the influence of alcohol, we will a police officer will uh, we will have a checkpoint uh, on the road frequently, and we will stop the car and check the driver, and we will do a breathalyzer test. And penalties for uh, drunk drive, uh, for drunk drive, from a drunk drive, uh, there are two parts. First one is uh, administrative punishment. So if your breast alcohol level equals uh, 0 0.15 mgL or more, or your blood alcohol concentration equals 0.03% or more, you will be uh, you will be fined between uh, 15,000 and uh, 120,000. It based on your alcohol level and the type of ve uh, and the type of vehicle you drove. So a uh, license will also be suspended for one year. And the second part is about the criminal part. It's an offense against public safety. So if your breathalyzer alcohol level over 0 point, 0 0.25 mgL, or your blood alcohol concentration over 0.05%, the DUI can constitution a crime, and you will be fined up to uh, 200,000 NT dollars, and you will also be put in jail for two years at most. And your drive and your drive license will be suspended for one or two years. 
and you will be revoked for good. Okay, so uh, I I want to share a video with you guys, which is talking about uh, driving under the influence of alcohol. He said, wow, that's terrible. Yeah,嘞,叫我吹就吹哦。吹。喝酒不能騎車嗎一罐一口都不行騎車酒駕初犯最高罰九萬還要吊扣駕照欸欸妹妹這是水果飲料啦啊水果飲料你知道喝酒不能騎車嗎你知道除了這個都不能如果你發生了什麼事情你的家人你的親戚還有你的寵物再也見不到你了那你該怎麼辦那無啦這是我的腿回收啊這應該是我多困到阿孫你打我一把我們來得奇怪好好好慢走好好好拜拜駕車不是兒戲酒後別當司機滴酒不沾人車平安全民居酒駕平安你我哈在酒駕要打屁股哦駕車還有是二零一七年還有是二零一七年還有是二零一七年還有是二零一七年還有是二零一七年還有是二零一七年還有是二零一七年還有是二零一七年還有是二零一七年還有是二零一七年還有是二零一七年還有是二零一七年還有是二
over 0.25 MGL, you'll be punished by uh, 200,000, and you will go to the jail for two years at most. Okay, so next one. What if you reject if you don't want to accept the alcohol taste? So let's see what will happen. According to Road Traffic Management and Penalty Act, you should be fined from uh, 180,000 NT dollars, and your car or your motorcycles should be relocated and detained by the authorities. And uh, the driver license should be revoked, and the driver should be subject to tag road traffic, uh, tag road traf traffic safety lessons. So if you don't want to accept the alcohol taste, this is uh, will be your penalty. So let's see the next. And uh, what will the police do if you were in the drunken bro? Uh, the police may restrain you on the, uh, immediately or take you back to the police station by force, according to uh, Article 42 of the said act. Is uh, if you fight with another person on the street and we will just bring you back to police station. Okay, so if you uh, interfere with the uh, police officer's duties and uh, you'll be punished by uh, detention of up to three days and you'll be punished by uh, 12,000 and the police, they can also arrest you immediately. And uh, if you threaten or use force against the police, and uh, you will also be punished by 9,000, and you will go to the uh, jail for less than three years. And the uh, suspect will be arrested immediately. So please uh, don't fight to a police officer in Taiwan because uh, we are not really terrible. Okay, so <laughs> and what you should do? You should show your ID to a police officer when they ask. So if uh, if I need to check your identification, please just show me your passport, your ARC, your APRC, anything. It's, a, it's okay. But uh, I need to check your identification. If you don't want to show your identification, you'll be punished by 2000 and uh, $10,000. And, $10, and uh, do not engage in activities which are different from your proposed. Uh, or you will be falsely deported by the National Immigration Agency. And you need to follow the uh, National Immigration Agency's order when special status arises. But uh, it's not really happened from, from before. So uh, if you're against this rule, you will also be uh, falsely deported by National Immigration Agency. And uh, we are going to talking about the illegal drugs in Taiwan. Okay, so there are there are uh, the narcotics are classified into four categories. Uh, category one is like uh, heroin, mafia, uh, cocaine, and category category two is like amphetamine, MDMA, uh, marijuana, and category three is like ketamine, uh, GHB. Uh, there are category four, but uh, we won't talk about it. So uh, there's something you need to be cautioned. It's like uh, dead rape drugs. Uh, it's also known as club drugs are used to assist in a sexual assault. So uh, it affecting quickly, causing victims to uh, become weak, confused, and even pass out. So and uh, you have no color, smell, or taste. So uh, victims cannot tell if they are being uh, drugged. And uh, this is marijuana. Before I became the Foreign Affairs Police, I am in charge of criminal investigation. And uh, this one time I catch a drugger and he brings some marijuana. It's, it looks like this. Uh, I need to remind you again, marijuana is not illegal in Taiwan. Okay, so please uh, don't use this uh, drug in Taiwan. And next one is uh, amphetamine. Uh, it's like, it looks like this. Yeah, 
and the next. It's like GHB and MDMA is called Yao Tou Wan. If you use this one, you will just keep shaking your head and you will be very, very high. And this is a, a mixed drug. Okay, and like FN2 and uh, ketamine is all illegal in Taiwan. Okay, so uh, protecting yourself from being a victim, uh, you can don't share the accept drinks from our people. You can watch the drink uh, being pro poured and carry it yourself. And uh, once open the containers yourself and keep your drink with you at all time. And don't drink anything that tastes or smells strange. And uh, don't drink from punch bowls or other common, uh, common open containers. If you realize you left your drink unattend unattended, you can just pour it out. And uh, most importantly, if you feel uh, drunken alcohol or funny, just get help right away. You can just call 110 and the police officer will come to find you and will help you. Okay, so this part is talking about foreign nationals involving criminal or traffic cases. So if, uh, unfortunately, if you become a suspect, if you are uh, maybe involving some case, uh, first thing you need to do is show your photo ID at once, such like a uh, passport, ARC, APRC, or your school ID, because we need to check your identification. Okay, so the second thing you need to do is cooperate with police. Uh, we are really kind, we are really nice, we won't hurt, we won't hurt you, uh, we won't uh, cursing or any actions can be regarded as an offense. And third, you need to ask for language assistance. It's like, uh, this is what we do, foreign affairs please, or you can hire an interpreter. So uh, if you need some interpreter, you can just tell the police and they will call us and we will go to uh, your place and we will translate for you. Okay, so uh, if a person is arrested or detained, you have a, uh, your behavior. Oh, uh, you have a right to uh, have his corpus to the local district court, where the arrest is to protect uh, your right to liberty, and uh, he or she has a right to the counsel assist. It's like you can call the um, uh, you can call the ambulance, you can call a counselor and we will, we will help you to notify them, okay. And uh, if you are just a victim or you are a person of interest, uh, if you encounter any dangerous or traffic accident, uh, the same, you can just dial 110 and you can go to the near, uh, nearest police station to make a report and uh, we will still go to help you for do a statement. And uh, once receiving a case of car accidents involving foreigners, uh, the police officer will still call us and we will go to help you. Okay, and next, if you lose your uh, property or passport, if your mobile phone or credit card is lost or stolen, uh, please fill a report at the local police station and uh, foreign affairs police will assist you in filling your report. In case of passport loss, please report the uh, loss to the National Immigration Agency and uh, contact the foreign mission of your country in Taiwan. Okay, uh, final one is about all information. There are some uh, phone you can keep in mind. Uh, first one is 110. If you got any problem, just call 110, okay? And uh, you can call 119, it's, it's about medical assistance. And uh, you can call 1999, it's a citizen hotline. It, uh, if you call 1999, the Taipei City, Police, uh, Taipei City government, they will solve your problem as soon as possible. And uh, there's another one, it's foreigners service, uh, service hotline. It's 0500-024-111, it's 203, okay. 
Yep. Ah, finally, thank God. Okay, QA. <laughs> Does there anyone want uh, want to want to ask some question? I got some gifts for you. No. Anyone? Okay. Then I got some question for you. <laughs> so, uh, like I say, we don't like drunk driving. So it's like very serious crime in Taiwan. And uh, there are some, there are some uh, number. There are some uh, first alcohol level. So. Uh, I want you to tell me uh, if you got uh, if your breast alcohol level is between this number, what will happen to you? Will that be too difficult? Anyone? Okay. So uh, you will be punished by some money. Your uh, your car will be taken away, and your driver's license will be revoked. Okay. So uh, this one is also if your uh, alcohol number, uh, if your alcohol level is over zero point twenty five, and you you will be also by be punished by very much money, and you will go to the jail. So uh, that's the point I want to share with you today. Yeah. So, is there any questions? Because I need to uh, give you some gift, so you can ask me any question. Oh, it's some. Um, uh, it's it's a yeah. It's a bag. It's a bag. Yeah, it's a bag. Yes, please. One beer. Uh huh. Ah, sorry, I can't hear you. Oh. You can use your microphone. How long do I have to wait after drinking one beer until I can drive? Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. It depends on how strong you are. <laughs> yeah, so uh, one beer, uh, usually one beer will not, uh, if you use one beer, it will not over 0 0.15. And if your alcohol level is under 0 0.15, uh, you will not be punished. But uh, we are not suggest you do that. Okay, thank you so much. Ooh, I love that. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyone else? Oh, yeah, sure. Please use a microphone. So is there any rules or uh, regulations for the people who are accompanying but not driving and yes. are drunk? Yes. Sorry. So if I am like with my friend, but I am drunk, my friend is driving, but he's or she is not drunk. So is there any rule or punishment for the person who is actually drunk but not driving? Uh, no. If you're drunk, you can just call your friend, ask your friend to drive you, drive you home. And you can call a, a taxi, you can call an Uber, and you'll be punished by any money. Uh, okay. Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can, you can also have one. You just need to ask me some question. Okay, I got three more. Yeah, please. Uh, oh, sorry, about what? About illegal substances in Taiwan. Okay. So, is valerian root legal in Taiwan? It's like a homeopathic medication that is used uh, where I come from. I think it's called xie cao in Chinese. Called what? Xie cao. Xie cao. Yes. It's, 
It's called Valerian what? root, and I heard by some Taiwanese that's illegal in Taiwan. But it's a common medication in my country. So if I wanted to bring some, would it be legal? I have, I can show you the characters in Chinese. Yeah. OK. Uh, no. It, it, uh, it's, it's legal in Taiwan, I think. But I will still check for you because you. <laughs> so I will still check no for you. It yeah, okay. because uh, in in our list we didn't have this item. Okay. But uh, I will check for you later. Okay. okay? Yes. Uh, you first. Can you tell me more about how to get our international driving license? You want to get, get, to get. driving license? Uh, you yes, nice. Uh, please wait a minute. There is a uh, there is a unit. There are specially for international driving license. So, uh, what's your question? Do you want to change, change say your, you want to? Uh, you can go to the Jianli uh, Zhan. I don't know how to say that in English. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. The, 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 there is a special unit which is in charge of uh, traffic, in charge of traffic uh, like motor vehicle office. And you can go to the unit and you can change your license into international driving license. Yeah, so uh, where do you live? Do you live in Taipei? Yeah, and uh, you can go to Gongguan, Gongguan, uh, Gongguan district, and there is a unit over there, and I will give you information. You can go to there, and you can change your travel license. It's in, uh, it's in Gongguan, if you live in Taipei. Thank you. Okay, that's one. What's the updated regulations about getting the food from like other countries? For example, there are some spices like uh, I'm not uh, earlier. I think they were allowed, but recently they are uh, not allowed. Like uh, for example, even to make some tea, like there are some like good spices or the seeds. I think they are not they are not really harmful, but it's I think not allowed to bring. I mean, where, what are the updated versions? Uh, uh, you know, basically, police officer uh, is not business. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry, I don't know the answer. I uh, know. I think it will not uh, constitute a crime. Okay. Ah. If 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 the item be forbidden by the uh, by the airport police, and they will they will just uh, confiscate the item. Yeah, but you won't be. Yeah, you 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 won't be you 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 don't have to go to the judge because of that, but your item will be uh, confiscated. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, so uh is there anyone want to ask more question? I got two more <laughs> two more gifts. Oh yeah, please. Uh 
actually, I want to make a short comment for the first question from Yu. Yeah. About, about uh, when can we drive uh, after like the camp here? So actually, you can find the calculator on the internet, and it's depending on the how much alcohol you consume and the body weight of the other drugs. So, um, like, take me for example, if I uh, I'm li like uh, 80 kilogram. Well, uh, uh, this is my body mass, so yeah. it takes like two to three hours to uh, to digest one liter of camel's beer. So you can, you can try to find uh, find the, the digestion time for you. Thank you so much. You 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 can you can stay here next time. <laughs> Grab it. Oh, nice. All right. Okay, that's one. Any anybody? Uh, I yes. So maybe uh, I remember there was an announcement about the drunk driving. Yeah. If the driver was drunk, but the the person who accompanied with him or with her, they w uh. but the, the uh, accompanying person is not drunk, but uh, they will they both of them will got the penalty, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay, then maybe they need to know. Not the only driver yeah. got the penalty. So uh, person? uh if the driver was drunk and you know that, but you still stay on his car and you didn't stop him to drive home and you will also be punished by several monies. With the same amount, the uh, penalty or some is it's different amount. Okay. But it amount. yeah, is is uh lesser than than the driver. Okay, they, both of them will get a penalty. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So also the owner of the car will also be punishment. Will, will also be punished, and the passenger will be punished. So if you know someone, somebody is driving after you some alcohol, please stop him. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Yay, it's for you. I got it. Okay. Thank you so much. So, uh. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Xie. Thank you very much. Oh, sorry. Yes. Uh, I need to. I need to do this. Uh, it's about human trafficking. Uh, uh, human trafficking is like uh, uh like uh, 人口贩运 in Chinese. Is uh, if you be uh be overused by uh it's like sexual or you walk over time is all is all called human trafficking. You can just tell us and we will help you to solve this problem. Okay, so thank you for your attention and okay, thank you for your attention. Thank you Mr Chef. Thank you for your time. <laughs>